Hey, what's up guys? John here. Here is a review of the PlayStation 3 as a Blu-ray player. As you guys will see in a minute, um, I kind of walk you through the load steps and uh, how quickly it loads and talk a little bit about the quality. Fortunately, you can't see the quality over YouTube. A um, couple of things I do want to clarify. Um, first off, the video quality is amazing. Um, looks better than the Apple TV uh, HD downloads, uh, first of all. Second thing is the remote can turn the console on and off, just like a normal remote could control any other uh, component. Um, so something else to uh, keep in mind. Anyway guys, enjoy. Um, you know, any questions, let me know about, uh, about the stuff. And I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to check out www.john4lakers.com. Don't forget the www. All right, guys. Sorry for a little bit of the shaky camera work here. We've gone handheld. So here is the PlayStation 3. You guys saw it during the unboxing. I kind of did a walkthrough of it. Um, so let me give you guys a uh, sense of how it works as a Blu-ray player. Uh, first off, the load times are very, very, very quick. Um, as you'll see in a minute, um, the load times with my old HD DVD player, the A2, which is now totally obsolete, it would take about almost two to three minutes just for it to open up for me to put in a disc, and the load times were an additional two or three minutes. So let me show you how the PlayStation 3 works as a Blu-ray player from off. You can see the red light right there, meaning the console is off. You pick up a Blu-ray disc here, I got two of them, 300 and Casino Royale. Let's pop in Casino Royale. Put it up here. I don't know if some of you guys saw too in the uh, the blog. I had a picture of my cat sleeping on the Apple TV. Um, that's the cat if you're interested. That's Mercedes. Um, all right. So enough of that. Let's get to the good stuff. Here is Casino Royale. And again, guys, this is the console being off. Put it in. Automatically recognizes it, sucks it right in, turns on. I'll take a step back here so you guys can see the television. Automatically turns on the PlayStation. Let me mute it here. Automatically recognizes it as a Blu ray disc. And just like that, guys, automatically starts playing. Really, really, really quickly. <laughs> um, loading. And there it is. It's playing. So from inserting the disc until the second it starts playing is under a minute. I mean, it's really, really, really quite good. Um, so let me pause this here for you guys. One second. And you can see a quick intro here of uh, what it looks like. All right. So let me turn this off. Video quality is excellent, guys. Blu-ray looks gorgeous. The PlayStation 3 can handle it as well as any standalone Blu-ray player from what I've heard. Um, it looks great. It's quiet. You can't even hear the noise. Um, and the best thing about it is it's totally firmware upgradable, um, which not many Blu-ray players out there are. Um, for those of you that don't know, when Blu-ray was first introduced, it was introduced as a 1.0 profile. They updated the profile 1.1, which the older players couldn't necessarily update to, and their final standard will be profile 2.0, which will be really shortly. And the PlayStation 3 is the only 2.0 uh, compatible player out there. Um, so, if you guys want a Blu-ray player and you also maybe want to play a game or two, PlayStation 3 is an awesome, awesome, awesome way to go, guys. Um, I'm so happy with it. I'm so glad I bought it, and everything just works as advertised. Uh, one thing I do recommend that you get, you know, I'll do a walk through the PlayStation 3 later in another review. But one thing I do recommend that you guys get, I'll show you right here. I showed it in the unboxing video, is the PlayStation Remote, so you don't have to use the controller to uh, control it. You know, it looks just like a regular um, remote control, PlayStation 3, you got your buttons, fast forward, pause, all the uh, controller buttons, your PlayStation button, you know, and your pause, rewind. Um, the remote is really a must-have, in my opinion, using the controller is a little bit odd to control the uh, video and playback. So the remote really makes it feel like more of a standalone player. Um, anyway, guys, I just, just want to say, if you're looking to get a Blu-ray player again, PlayStation 3 is an absolutely awesome way to go. Um, you know, it, it looks 
looks great. The quality of playback is excellent. Um, you know, it just works as advertised. So hopefully that will help you guys decide what to get now that the format war is over. And just a quick sneak peek of some of the other stuff I'm going to be reviewing. Here is my cabinets right there. You can see an Xbox. I have a sling box on top of that. An old HD DVD player. My Wii. Apple TV. Um, and uh, my cable box. And this is my uh, LG 50 inch plasma screen. Anyway guys. Oh, they're the uh, rock band drums too. Um, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. And I'll do another review of a walk through the whole PlayStation, the PlayStation interface, um, on another video. But I want to get some up to tell you guys that uh, PlayStation 3 is an excellent Blu-ray player. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.